Hey, welcome back everyone. So today we have a really special video for you guys because we've been hit so many times and gotten these requests from people who said, hey, show us your wheel collection. And I thought, you know what? I've never really thought about it or even thought about having them all together because I've had them kind of all around. And so got the guys, put it all together and we made this special video for, just for you. And then before we go any further, I have an update on this M4. So a lot of you guys saw, we put it up for sale. Uh, we made a video on it with Brandon Washness and it got 200K views in the first 10 days or something like that. And so we had a lot of people hitting us up. And so there's one guy in particular that made an offer. He offered to buy the car by giving us an E92 M3 and an F82 M4 plus cash. And that was kind of a, an offer I was really intrigued by. So we're talking and that might be something that's happening here real soon. But for this M4, um, we're going to miss it. And we just couldn't pass on that. And we have a lot more to do this year in particular. So we have another G80 M3 in the shop that we are using in the meantime. And we will have all of our content and make a separate series just for. All right. So enough about that. Let's go ahead and get into these wheels. This is my personal wheel collection. Um, this really didn't start that long ago. It's kind of really started when the whole pandemic created a shortage in aluminum and these were really hard to get. And so I started to just buy more wheels because I know they were harder to get. The lead times were really long and prices were going up. So I started to get some from my car and then I started buying back wheels from customers. I started buying them when I find them on the market. Um, and I just more or less hoarded as much as I could. So I've got nine sets total right now of these. Um, I have other wheels that are um, for sale that are customer wheels, but these are my personal sets. Um, most of them are BBS. And you can see there's a couple other ones in here, but uh, I want to kind of just go over a couple of what I see in each wheel, why I have it, what I like about it, um, and describe the wheel itself. So the first one that I want to point out and start with is this set over here. We'll start off at the top. So these are TE37 SLs. They're very common to find these days, but I had mine uh, in a special finish. And these are the 18 by 9.5, 18 by 10.5 M3 offset. Um, they are in diamond black with the white SL spoke, and these are going to be my dedicated track wheels and then replacing uh, the TS5s that I currently have on the car. And then the next setup, uh, these are LMRs, they're BBS LMRs, they're 20 by 9.5, 20 by 11, F80 offset. These are factory two piece wheels. These are diamond black on diamond black. Um, I got these off a customer who was actually selling his car, trading it in, so he was getting rid of these. So I picked these up locally. I got really lucky. Um, these ones are probably going to be for sale. I'm probably not going to end up using these for very long. Um, like I said, they're made for F80, M3, and M4. Um, they are uh, going to get cleaned up a little bit. There's some curb rash on them, but they are beautiful mint wheels. The next that I have here are your traditional four star F14 Super G Concave. These are in gunmetal. These are a uh, a fan favorite, I will say. You know, we've been using these for many, many years on pretty much all of our cars. Now, these ones have a very special place in my heart. Um, before the market got super saturated with these wheels, um, I found that they were probably the best bang for buck at the time. They're just really good looking, really affordable, um, and just all around just something that looked really good in photos. They're really photogenic. You can kind of see the aggressiveness when you put them on. So these are M3 offsets. I'll be keeping these ones. These are probably gonna be my, my daily uh, setup. So 
Then I've got the BBS LMRs. Uh, these are the second ones. These are 19 uh, full three-piece conversions. Long story short, I had these built specially for my car and I ended up having to sell them to a customer because he was in a pinch. He was running uh, a new airlift setup. He had his wheels, it didn't clear his brakes. So I ended up offering mine to him. So he bought them off me a couple years later. I bought them back. So uh, we cleaned them up and I'm gonna be using these as my my dedicated like nice wheels, my weekend wheels, um, put some tires on them and they're gonna be the ones that I run for my M3. And then moving on, we have the 19 inch LM. Uh, these BBS LMs are a very beautiful uh, hand brushed and polished lip with gold hardware. These are also F80 specs. So these are also something that I ran. Um, they're very classic. And I think it's something that I, I love the, the classic LM look. Again, everyone thinks that they're probably overplayed, but you can't, you can't not have it at least. They're such a beautiful wheel to not have in your collection. They're probably gonna be for sale. Uh, the LMs are probably gonna go up. They are, like I said, F80 fitments, so the offsets are 41 in the rear. So if you have an F80 or F82, you can definitely buy them off me probably sometime in the near future, but they are um, nine and a half front, 11 rear. Moving on to our last set of LMRs. These are 20s, very similar to the first one you saw. These are 20 by nine and a half, 20 by 11 factory two piece, a beautiful uh, bronze face with polished lip. These ones I ended up buying back from a customer. Um, same deal, he sold his car and it sat in storage and I offered to buy him back. So I got him again and um, these are a very beautiful finish. Again, these are probably gonna be something that will probably go up for sale sometime in the marketplace. 20 inch, nine and a half front, 11 rear, F80, F82 offset. Um, very aggressive, very beautiful and a classic uh, LMR look. Uh, moving on to the ones at the end over here. These are a very special wheel. Uh, much like the uh, diamond black LMRs I showed you, these are made especially for me, my car. I built these so that I would use them. As you can see, they're still factory wrapped. Um, they have hand brushed centers, polished lip, a very aggressive nine and a half and 11 offset for the e 9 xm 3 You can see the lip and barrel. It's a very beautiful uh, setup that you don't see very many of. RSGTs are really rare. You usually see LMs, LMRs, even FIRs, but RSGTs are a very classic kind of heritage wheel that you don't see very often. So these are three piece converted as well. I'm probably gonna keep these, but I, I might not use them. They might sit in a box. They're just really beautiful and something I don't really wanna, I don't really wanna run right now. So, um, but it's just a homage to a lot of BBS stuff. So. The two that are on the car, we'll start with the E92 M3. These are Titan 7 TS5s. Arguably best bang for buck when it comes to forged wheels. Um, very lightweight, strong, affordable, always in stock, and it comes in perfect size and offset. Uh, these are gloss black. These are typically the dedicated track wheels most people run. I had these, um, I'm switching to the TE37, so these are already spoken for, so these are going to a guy locally, but these are a very beautiful wheel, um, beautiful design. I think it's probably one of my favorites, but um, I had some guy that wanted them, so I could pass up the offer. And then moving to our uh, last one here, it's a very special setup for me. I think it's one of my favorites because uh, not only was it on our SEMA build for the G82M4, but we had it very specifically built for this car. We scanned the wheel well and had the fitment perfect with no spacers, no rubbing, extremely aggressive and a very beautiful finish. So this one is finished in satin hand brushed titanium. Uh, and then we have a brushed uh, satin titanium lip as well. This one we also have fitted with the white BBS cap, but this is the RSGT. This is a 20 by 10 and a half front, 20 by 12 rear RSGT. Uh, fitted with Toyo R888s. This is a very unique setup that no one probably has even still done to this day on the G80, G82. So these are custom three piece and these will probably never leave this car. Uh, it's made specifically for this car. So I'm uh, very happy that this has turned out the way it was. And I think it's because of that reason, my favorite. So, I mean, that kind of shows you the nine sets that I have. Now, I, I said some of them weren't for sale, it doesn't mean they won't be 
eventually make it up, in, you know, in the marketplace. But um, for the ones that I did say you could buy, feel free to reach us. Uh, you can email us or DM us. Um, there's also a lot of things that aren't here that we do have. We have TE37 SLs in stock. Those are usually an eight month lead time. We have like three sets available, ready to go in the highly favorable 18, nine and a half, 10 and a half, 18, 10 and 10 and a half. Um, and we got eight sets of four stars. And there's a bunch of other ones, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, hopefully that gave you an idea. If you have any questions, feel free to reach us or comment below. Um, these are very much a highly uh, spec option for these cars. So I hope that answers a lot of your questions on, hey, what wheels do you have? Let me see what's the spec on that, which I get probably every day. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that part. And which, by the way, we have a lot of questions on people who want to run some of these specs on the 335 non-M. Let me answer that real quick. So it's really simple. Actually, you can run a lot of these wheels on a non-M body, like a 335 E90, E92, or even F30, which is even more narrow. But there is one trick to it. You're not going to get that meaty tire setup. So for example, like those four stars at 14, I ran on my 335. I ran a 235, 35 front, 265, 30 rear tire. Um, it was some stretch, but it, but you know, it fit. And you can do the same thing with most of these. If you want to get some meat on them, you probably have to run an eight and a half or a nine up front, uh, a nine and a half or a 10 in the rear, which you're not going to get that fat lip or super deep concave, but you're going to get the tire that you want. That makes sense. Speaking of which, um, 335. So we have, you know, we, we talked about the G82 earlier. Um, I'm not going to ever sell that E92 M3, but uh, we did talk about we have an E92 M3 and an F82 M4 coming in, but we're also probably going to look into uh, maybe an E82 135 or an E90, maybe E92 335 or 335 IS. So uh, I think there's going to be a lot of questions on what we're going to do with that build and to flat out answer it in the easiest way possible. Uh, we're looking for an M54 and we're going to try and build this for uh, the right way. Uh, we have a lot of people who you know, want us to build it uh, a certain way and do this, do what they want to do and stuff like that. But we're going to progress it over a series on a YouTube um, channel. And we're going to basically have it so we can show you where it starts all the way to the final product. And that includes all your bolt-ons and tuning and all the other little things in between. But we want to progressively do it so that we can have a very clean, done right 335 or 135. And our goal is not to have the most power or stance, but we just want the perfect 335. Kind of like how I'm doing my M3, the, the United 2 M3. I want the perfect street car. Um, plenty of power, tractability, looks, maintenance, and reliability, everything. So um, I think that's something that's probably gonna happen soon. So if you guys wanna see more of that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow us. Turn on that notification going to want to see probably the series as soon as that starts um it's going to happen this spring and we'll keep you guys in the loop for that one and make a series over uh probably this uh year so um if you have any questions put that in the comment below we appreciate you guys for tuning in and more importantly we'll make another video about the next questions and the next part of the series for you guys so thank you guys we'll see you guys on the next one see ya